Amy Park, understandably not the fullest for Western Sydney Wanderers' visit to face Melbourne City. Certainly in what's been a trying week for professional sports, we hope that we can provide you with some entertainment and maybe even some escapism for the intersection of sports and culture that has been COVID-19 and the crazy week that's been. Duke just commanded the ball to his feet. Saw Tate Russell over on the right side. Good first touch from Russell to play it into the path of Muller. And the return ball. Tate Russell, what a goal this is! Western Sydney Wanderers strike in style. And Tate Russell has saved an absolute beauty for his first A-League goal. And everyone, bar the keeper, runs down to celebrate with him. A moment of inspiration. As Atkinson tries to get McLaren into it. And now the deflection may work out quite kindly. McLaren cuts it back to Atkinson. Noon wants it back stick. Atkinson is going to go himself. And the deflection still saved very well. And now in comes Noon, goes to ground, and the penalty is given. Sold it for all it was worth, and the referee was buying. City will go to the spot. How much have the last three games weighed on Jamie McLaren as he takes this spot kick? Down the middle he goes, and we're level. McLaren breaks his scoring drought. His 20th goal in a City shirt, and we're level 1-1. Yeah, great penalty there from uh, Jamie McLaren. Obviously, uh, Loper thought he was going to pick a side and go early, and uh, he just waited for him to go and then just hammered it straight down the guts. Curtis Good back with the ball at his feet. Atkinson. And just got rushed there by O'Doherty. Wanderers. Can they break here through the left? Over the head of Muller and looping out. Yeah, sloppy play there from Nathaniel Atkinson. Just not caught on the ball. Can't afford to do that. And obviously, O'Doherty, the ball he overhit for a goal kick. Again, the last five, ten minutes in particular, just been sloppy for both teams. They can't keep the ball at all. Just over this little phase of play where neither team has had a clear-cut chance, though, West, uh, Western Sydney's possession. Curtis Good. Oh, it's a poor header. It's presented a great chance, and it's going to be bundled off the line. Incredible. How did Cox not score? That An is... open net was gaping. And it has it crossed the line. That's the question. Referee Kate Jakovic is just waiting for word on the earpiece to the other teammates. Here's another look at it. Simon Cox here. Oh, wow. He thought it was going in. And I'll uh, tell you what, that's Curtis Good. What a recovery run to get there on the line. Stick the big foot out and save uh, his team there. Save his blushes because he's the one that gave it away. Short corner, whipped in by Atkinson, the header from Noon. And he can't get it to fall inside the left-hand post. Better here from City, good ball in. And into the arms of Glover that goes. It should be enough to secure a point for Melbourne City. Nazarene. Thought he was being grabbed by Russell, but nothing doing. And that will be that. They have to share the points. A point that suits Melbourne City certainly more than it does Western Sydney Wanderers. And for Adelaide and Western United, they will be the happier as Wanderers fail to bridge the gap back to the top six in spite of leading in this game. Melbourne City dominated at the end of the first half but never really recaptured that magic as the game went on.